Hey everybody, what is up and welcome back to the latest episode here of this Carlo Zenzi My Player Career Mode. Second last episode here guys, number 20 and in this episode we're going to be finishing the final two league games of the season as we finish the Pro League guys and then we've got the big one against Madrid coming up in the Europa League final in the next episode which is the last one. As you can see, we actually got rested here for this game against Anderlecht guys so we won't be playing this one which means right now we're going to be simming the second last game of the Pro League season nice and quickly here as you you can see while we're waiting in our apartment as you can see here under let's take a 1-0 lead but then we go 1-1 2-1 Trossard there with a goal back and guys look at this 89 minutes there we go 90 minutes and a 2-1 victory gives us another three points on the table as we head on into the final game of the season guys we are just going to get into a quick montage here if you haven't seen it already guys of the pro league and what we did this season make sure you watch it if you haven't already and enjoyed this video guys Here we are guys back now here we are on the way to the final game of the league season after that montage guys to get us pumped up and in the mood we're just here about to arrive at the stadium we have been picked as starting striker 81 overall Zanzi here and we got Ito on the right cross side on the left we got a decent midfield and back four as always guys and we're just arriving here and it's going to be a pretty epic game if we win this if, no matter what happens in this game actually just so you guys know no matter what happens in this game, we've won the Pro League. So, we just got to finish this game. 
and then hopefully get a decent result to celebrate. And then we have won the Pro League, guys. We've already got enough points on the table, and that's all we need to do. I'm not going to bother showing you guys, because it's all done already, guys. That last game that we simmed just at the start of this episode got us enough points to win the league already. So, guys, it's done. We've won the Pro League here with Gang. We're going to get into this next game now and just have a bit of fun and uh, watch some highlights and see how we go in the game and see if we can get the final three points to put on the table. And then this, this episode will be getting well underway, guys. As you can see here, heading into the game now, we've actually got a pretty big one to as, as the league goes, guys. I believe it's standard Liège. And as you can see here, just about to get it underway for the very final game of the Pro League season for our loan spell here at Gank. There we are just warming up at the start of this game. Can we get the three points here today? And can we come away with the final game of the league season with a three-point win? That will be awesome. We are away from home here, as you can see. And uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting day, guys. Uh, can we do it? I think we can. It's Genk against Standard Liège here. And if we can do the D today, we will be coming away champions. Either way, we're going to be getting a trophy out of this, guys. And remember, um, our time at Munich, uh, Bayern Munich, before we went out on loan, we actually won the Germany Super Cup, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, so we've already got one trophy under our belt. As you can see here, guys, we're 49 points on the table, 43 for the second place team. So no matter what happens here, we've won. We've got 49 points. We can possibly get more, but it's going to be a great day no matter what. Let's go. Everyone's going to be a bit more relaxed. So they probably probably won't play as well. Maybe it'll be even better for playing. I don't know. But um, here's Sansi just enjoying his final game in the league in front of these away fans, guys, before we head off to London, which is where we're going to be playing the Europa League final against Real Madrid for the very final game of this series and of this season and of everything, guys. It's going to be an epic conclusion, so make sure you stay tuned for that one as well as this one because there's a few things happening, guys, today as well. Seven minutes into this one, Standard Liege here with a conceding a corner kick to us and we just can't get that one into the box. It's been cleared away and here we come with another chance now running down the left wing here. Can we get this one into the box? It's Zanzi waiting in the middle. It's gone to him here. He's getting his shot away. He got around the defender there. Takes a shot. It's finesse in the back of the net. Kylo Zanzi goes and scores the game opening goal in the eighth minute of this one, guys. And what a way to do it. It looks pretty good. 1-0 on the scoreline. And we're nine minutes in, guys. Kylo Zanzi, final game of the season, goes and scores a wonderful goal here. And look at this. Pass it in. Zanzi takes a touch around the defender perfectly and finesses it into the top right-hand corner, guys. Very nice indeed. And we've come away with a very good 11th goal of the Pro League season. We made it into double digits here from playing since February coming out on loan from Bayern Munich where we played quite a lot and got quite a good results uh, and like stats for us in Bayern Munich's uh, games but now we've come to the Pro League and we've done even better which is great and we've played really well this season as you can see Standard Liège 20 minutes in coming down with the next chance of the game can they get a goal here can they lay it forward yes they can they've back it there and it's gone in the back of the net 21 minutes played guys Standard Liège scoring the equalizing goal here making it 1-1 on the scoreline and Genk a bit frustrated with the lack of defending there. Just kind of let them through and they ended up scoring a pretty nice little goal. And as you can see from this replay, it was a pass to the edge of the box there. Laid it around nicely and a back heel. That, that was what done them. And then the quick first time shot. No one could react in time. And it's gone in the back of the net for Orlando Sars. Seventh goal in the Pro League this season. Former Reading player there, I would know. And uh, guys, here we are getting the game kicked off once again. 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. Zanzi did score that first initial goal. Saar just got the equalizer. Can someone get another goal here, guys? Here comes the next chance, though, and it's coming for the opposition team. Standard Liège once again. 31 minutes in, running down the pitch, trying to get a bit of a breakaway. But no, it's been intercepted here. Can we get a chance coming forward now? It's the 32nd minute. Zanzi's making his way forward into space. We've got a really good chance to make it 2-1 on the scoreline. Carlos Zanzi takes a finesse and it's gone in the back of the net. What a goal. Two goals in this game. 33 minutes play. Carlos Zanzi is on fire. 12th goal of the season. And what a way. If we can get a hat trick here, guys, we've still got a half and 10 minutes left to try and get a final league game hat trick. Our first ever hat trick. How cool would that be? We're just running down the picture, as you can see. Take a finesse shot from distance. Goalkeeper doesn't see it, and it goes into the back of the net very nicely indeed. 12th goal of the season there. 35 minutes played, and we are coming away looking very good to end this season off, guys. Very happy with how he's playing this season. It's been really great going from strength to strength as we progressed on. Taking a knock as we headed into being loaned out, but we actually took it in our stride and did really well here in Genk, guys. And you guys made some great suggestions about coming here, so which was really helpful. As you can see, ball goes into the box there, doesn't quite make it to the head of a standard Liège player, and they're pushing forward now with another chance there, and it's been shot. Goalkeeper makes a great save, and another shot there hits the side netting, and I think that's a penalty. Believe it or not, guys, that is a penalty. The guy literally just like tapped him. 
as he headed the ball. Like, we didn't even head the ball. I don't even know what happened. But, guys, look, they're going for a goal. Martin goes and scores. It's 2 2 on the scoreline. Somehow, I do not know how that was a penalty, but it is apparently. And they have gone and scored the equalizing goal here. 37 minutes played. It is 2 2 on the scoreline. It really doesn't matter, but it would be nice to come away with a final game win, as we've said. Guys, the number 18 Martin there scoring from the penalty spot. I don't really believe that that was a penalty. There was nothing in it. I should have put the replay in there for you guys to see, but it's not too much of a fuss. Scoring his eighth goal of the Pro League season, guys. Final game here. 2-2 on the scoreline as we're in the 38th minute. Guys, can we get another one back in this one? Can we turn this around and just keep plodding away another goal? Maybe get a hat-trick for Zanzi. You never know what might happen. 46 minutes in. It's just gone past the half-time mark, which we just... And here they come with an attack down the left-hand side. On the wing, they've crossed it into the box. They've got a good chance. A good chest down. What's he doing? No! No! Don't concede here! What are you doing? He literally gave up. He just... Didn't bother. Orlando Sar capitalized, and it's 3-2 on the scoreline. 47 minutes in, just after half time. I don't even know what was going on with the defender there. Look at this. Just sit down and just stands there. Gets tackled. Shot just goes in on the underside of the crossbar, and it's 3-2 on the scoreline. What the defender was thinking, I do not know. Maybe he's match fixing or something. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you think just happened there. And that was really random, guys. And uh, here we are getting the game kicked off now with the next kickoff. Five goals scored in this game total. 3-2 against us at the moment. Standard Liege taking a lead here. 49 minutes in. Here we come down with the next chance of the game. And it's coming for Genk. Can we push this one forward into space? A good chance for Zanzi. Takes a finesse shot for his third goal. And it's hit the crossbar just like in the other game when we were trying to get a hat-trick. We just cannot put it in the back of the net. That should have been the hat-trick and the equaliser. But it wasn't. And guys, here we come with the next chance now. Once again, Genk on the ball running down the right-hand side with Kyle. Lozanzi on the overlap. Can we put this one in the box? We've got players arriving. Chris is it in near post. Oh my goodness, what a cross. And how has that not gone in? 9.1 for Zanzi on the rating system at the moment, guys. And another chance coming forward here. Just outrageously attacking over and over again. Carlos Zanzi on the ball once again. He's desperate for this and he's been taken out and it's a penalty. 74 minutes played. Can Guy Lozanzi, can they not understand that I need to take this? It's not going to be me because I don't take penalties for Genk at the moment. But do they not understand this could be a hat-trick for Zanzi if he was able to take this? But no, Pencil is stepping up. He's taking this one. And guys, he got it saved. Like, I could have had a hat-trick here and he's gone and done that. 75 minutes in, we're still losing 3-2 somehow. This is a pretty entertaining game for a final game of the season. Both teams really going for it. And as you can see here, making our way forward. Again, looking for a hatchet, guys. Can we do it? 78 minutes played. Come on, here comes the ball. A chance here for Zanzi, and he's got the oh, save once again. Oh, he just cannot catch a break here to get his hatchet, guys. Near post cross this time. He's taking a volley. What is going on? Oh, my goodness, guys. Someone tally up how many shots we've had and how many have we scored, because this is getting ridiculous. Look how close that was. Side netting from that overhead volley. Uh, this is getting frustrating, guys. Pushing through once again. 83rd minute interception here, and we're still on the run. Can we make our way forward now on the ball? We've got an overlap from Zanzi. He's asked for the ball inside. He just kind of hasn't got a defeat. That was a pretty poor ask for the ball. And here we are in the 84th minute. A throw in here. Coming into the box, we've got Zanzi waiting. Can he get his hat-trick now? Please, finally. No, another save from the goalkeeper. Should have aimed for the corners then. And Zanzi is having way too many shots and not enough goals. It started off well with two shots, two goals, and now it's just... It's the hat-trick curse, and it's not going our way. 87 minutes in, we're still losing here somehow to standard Liège 3-2. They've crossed it into the box at the back post. They've headed it there. It's got a cross goal, and the defender just managed to get that one out for a corner kick, guys, with two minutes to spare. And here we are, about to finish the Pro League season, guys. We're into the 92nd minute of extra time. Can we finish this game? Either way, we're going to win the league. But are Standard Liège going to score again? Yes, they are. It's 4-2 on the scoreline, and it is the 93rd minute. They've gone and scored again just to rub it in a little bit more and prolong our victory in the league, guys. <laughs> They're loving it at the moment. 4-2 on the scoreline to them. They've won this game, and we have not taken our chances, that is for sure. Kylo Zanzi has not got a hat-trick in this game, which is quite frustrating. Really should have, but look at that. It was a great shot. Great first-time finish, guys. And they've come away with a 4-2 victory here by the looks of it. And we're about to get this game restarted for the very final couple of seconds in which we will win the Pro League, guys. That's all that matters. We will win the Pro League. But, guys, as you can see here, Standard Liège 4, KRC Genk 2. Wait for the final whistle. And 
there it goes guys we have finally done it we've won the pro league here after getting a loss today but it doesn't matter we've come away with the victory in the long run we have won the pro league here in belgium what a way to do it guys so awesome to see that happening Sansi getting picked up there consolidated after that but here we go with the pro league celebrations guys we've come away we've worked hard this season since february joining here on loan from Bayern munich we've done an exceptional job guys celebrate this one with me leave a comment down below in the description here we go guys and here we are back and uh, it was very strange they're not actually holding the cup up he was holding the cup in his arms really low which was very weird but we're taking a team photo we're celebrating we're having a great time here and guys just enjoying our victory we've worked hard this season and as you can see here we are the pro league champions here in belgium playing for krc gang on loan guys we've done a tremendous job here and one game left in this season and it is the very yeah. final game <laughs> it's against real madrid in the Europa League final. As you can see, team of the competition has been announced and looking into the team of the competition. Um, remember, I did not play all season, so I don't think I'll be in there, but we've got quite a few in there. We've got um, Vukovic, Dinor. We've got um, a few. Oh, go back and read it if you want. This guy won the golden boot, Soloth. And we've got the goalkeeper of the tournament announced as a club bird goalkeeper as well. And this week's star performer, Zoe Zanzi, did make it in that one, which is a nice little call of celebration. Guys, as you can see here, we're here with Ella. She is waiting on the car and she's just she said she wanna go celebrate. And I was like, hell yeah, let's go celebrate, guys. So we hop in the car with her. We're gonna go out clubbing and have a great night together, guys. It's just what we wanna do to finish this episode off and just really celebrate winning the Pro League, a really hard season here in Gank and a really fun one as well. We're gonna be leaving this episode very soon and awaiting the very final episode, guys, where it's all gonna go down, so make sure you don't miss that one. Hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. We're just arriving here at the club, as you can hear, about to get in, get into the dancing and everything. I'm gonna leave you here now, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.